Mitsui OSK Lines, MOL of Japan, is steering its businesses towards achieving net zero emissions by 2050. What the company set its sights on was wind. Much like sailing ships of the past, vessels equipped with large sails and a wind-assisted propulsion system called Wind Challenger are already plying the high seas. But why the focus on wind? Regarding climate change, it's becoming clear that we have no choice but to address this situation head-on. Rather than being a follower, we believe we need to aspire to take a leadership position as a first mover and guide the maritime transport industry. Among the various energy-saving initiatives, we estimated that using wind would allow us to reduce fuel consumption by an average of 5 to 8 percent, compared to conventional propulsion systems. And the tests we actually carried out showed a similar result. Wind Challenger employs telescopic sails made of lightweight and durable glass fiber reinforced plastic to ensure that vessels will not need to reduce the volume of cargo that can be carried. The orientation and shape are automatically controlled according to the wind direction and speed at sea. Additionally, various other technologies are combined, such as the weather routing system, which incorporates weather information to select the optimum route using wind to further reduce fuel consumption. Based on the performance demonstrated by Shofu Maru, the first Wind Challenger equipped vessel, a second ship, Green Winds, was delivered in 2024. In 2026, it will also be installed for the first time on an LNG carrier and others. And by 2035, 80 vessels are scheduled to be fitted with Wind Challenger. We're reaching a position of being a leader, so we need to accumulate our own data and apply that to make further improvements. Take vessel shape, for example. The bridge could be brought all the way forward. By changing the design, we believe there are many possibilities to adopt technologies to further leverage the power of the wind. With a new wind at its back, MOL is charting a course towards the next era for the maritime industry.